Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I'm happy to announce that I'm going to start one amazing playlist called How to Implement End-to-End -end Deep Learning Project with Deployment. So guys, what I saw like many people learn these kinds of data science, machine learning, deep learning, but uh, they don't know like how to implement end-to-end uh, -end project, okay? So these kinds of difficulties I have seen from many people like uh, they tell me like uh, uh, I have attended so many interview but I'm not able to crack the interview. Uh, interview doesn't like my project. Uh, so how I can implement uh, like end-to-end -end project, okay? So these kinds of messages actually I get a lot. So that I thought uh, let's create one playlist, okay? Uh, so that uh, it will help you to crack any kinds of data science interview at least, okay? Because most of the people, uh, they will be uh, like implementing uh, some dummy project and they will be adding this project in their resume. And uh, this kinds of uh, project definitely won't allow, okay, uh, the company you are applying for. So uh, better if you learn end-to-end uh, -end project implementation uh, and add this kinds of project in your resume. Uh, so it would be like totally amazing, okay, for you. If you see uh, many people are cracking uh, this kinds of data science interview because they have good project, even uh, they can uh, explain their project in a good way. So from this playlist, actually, you will also learn like how to explain your project, okay, to the interviewer. And if you have any kinds of problem statement, you will be able to learn like how to implement it end to end, okay. So throughout this entire playlist, I will show you like how you can implement this uh, end to end project uh, from uh, project setup itself. I will uh, show you the deployment also. So make sure you watch this uh, playlist, okay, uh, till the end. So it will help you a lot. So I have just one request, just try to uh, stick with the playlist, okay? Uh, if you are able to cover uh, till end, I believe, okay, you will be also able to crack any kinds of data science interview. So guys, what I want actually, you just uh, support my channel and if you, so if you want this kinds of playlist, this kinds of content in future, uh, make sure you have subscribed to my channel and uh, try to share this playlist with your friends and family so that all, uh, like they can also get benefit of, okay, from my videos. And uh, try to also hit the like button. And if you have any queries, you can ask me in the comments. Okay. So uh, just try to support my channel so that I can get motivated. Okay. To bring these kinds of content a lot. So, guys, now you can ask me like why I'm creating uh, like a deep learning end to end project. Okay. Uh, like uh, I should create machine learning project. Uh, so, my answer would be because uh, personally, I like deep learning a lot. So, that's why I plan for deep learning projects. Okay. Uh, in future, actually, I will also try to create uh, machine learning projects. But the uh, uh, strategy actually i'm going to show you uh, you can use this uh, kinds of strategy okay in your every projects like if you are creating machine learning project okay if you are creating deep learning project you can use this kinds of strategy uh, in your project okay uh, there is no issue with that so the uh, folder management and the code management actually i'm going to show you uh, in this uh, like playlist okay uh, you can use this kinds of uh, code management uh, you can use this kinds of folder management in your every project okay there is no issue with that uh, but in future, I will also try to create oh, one machine learning project. Okay. So, uh, first of all, let's cover the deep learning because personally, I like deep learning. Okay. Uh, so, that actually uh, uh, you can learn like how to create any kinds of deep learning projects end to end. Okay. So, uh, in this uh, playlist, actually, I will uh, like uh, implement one uh, image classification problem statement, which is nothing but a doc cat classification. Okay. In this case, you can select any kinds of data set, any kinds of image data set. There is no issue with that. Okay. But uh, I found like this data set would be a little bit easy for me to explain, okay? Uh, instead of uh, taking too much, uh, you can say classes. So that's why I selected this data set. But for your case, if you have any kinds of data set, you can follow the exact uh, strategy, okay? What uh, I will be doing throughout this entire playlist. So guys, uh, yeah, guys, this is all about uh, of, like uh, about my announcement, okay? Now uh, in this video, what uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to uh, show you uh, the first steps actually we follow uh, whenever we uh, implement any kinds of project, which is nothing but uh, like how to manage your GitHub repositories, okay? Uh, like how to create GitHub repositories and why these GitHub repositories are needed and all, okay? So basically we'll be following industry standard uh, like approach, okay? Uh, like how industry works actually whenever they start with any kinds of projects, okay? So uh, suppose uh, let's say you are working in an industry, okay? And uh, there are lots of developer because see, whenever you will be implementing any projects, you won't be implementing the entire projects, okay, by yourself. So there would be a lots of developer, okay? You have to collaborate with them. So better if you are uh, like creating this kinds of GitHub repository, if you are managing this kinds of GitHub repository so that they can also uh, able to access uh, in your repository and they can also make the changes, okay, uh, in your code. Suppose uh, they have uh, implemented one new features, okay? So what they will do, they will uh, pull your changes and they will uh, push their changes, okay? They will add this feature, uh, okay, into your code. So that's why actually we try to manage this kinds of GitHub repositories, okay? So better you also follow this kinds of uh, GitHub, okay? Whenever you are trying to implement any uh, kinds of project, okay? So first of all, uh, what I will do, I will uh, create one uh, new repository of my project. Okay, so I will click on my repository. 
So you just try to log in with your uh, GitHub account. I'm expecting you have, I'm expecting you already have this GitHub account and Git install okay in your system uh, so that actually you can go with me, okay? So here, uh, what do you need to do? First of all, let's create one new repository, okay? I will click on new and let's give the name, okay, of, of, of my repository. So I will just give uh, CNN uh, classifier, okay? Let's give this name. And uh, let's make this uh, repository as public. And I will add uh, this readme and also I will take git ignore. So I will take Python because the code actually I'm going to write. Okay, it is going to be Python code. And here I will take one license. Let's let's take MIT license. Okay, you can take any kinds of license. There is no issue with that. Okay, so it's done. Then I will click on this uh, create repository. So it will create uh, one repository for me. Okay, uh, so this is the repository. So what I will do, I will click on code. Uh, and I will uh, uh, make sure you have selected this HTTPS, okay? And I will uh, copy this uh, link, okay? Now what I will do, I will open up a new folder in my local, and here I will clone this repository, okay? So I will open my terminal. So you can open up uh, your terminal or Git Bash, whatever you are using, okay? So I will just write Git clone, uh, and I will paste the link here, okay? And let's press Enter. So it will clone this repository here, okay? And if you open this repository, so uh, you will get this. Uh, these are the files because we have already generated. These are the files: your license file, dot git ignore file, okay, and readme file. Uh, so yes, guys, we have successfully uh, created this GitHub repositories, okay. Uh, so first of all, let me show you uh, the problem statement. Actually, we are gonna solve. So if you search like cat dog, okay, cat dog uh, data set, so you will get one link, uh, uh, Kaggle URL, okay. Just open this up. So actually, this data set actually I'm going to use. So what I did actually, I made a mini version, okay, of this data set because if you see there are lots of images. So if you're training all these images, okay, so it will take time even it needs like higher computational power. So what I did, I just made a mini version of this image, okay. And I kept it in my repository, okay. So I will uh, share this data with you so that actually you can also uh, like uh, uh, go with me, okay. So this is the data set and this is the problem statement actually we are gonna solve. Uh, basically, you have like cat dog images. And what you need to do, you need to classify whether this image represents cat or dog. Okay, so that's how actually you need to do image classification. So this uh, problem statement actually we're gonna solve. Okay, so here this is the data set, and if you you can also read about the data set like what it is telling and all. Okay, so this many of uh, training example you have. Uh, so one means it is representing dog, and zero means it is representing cat. Okay, so everything they have provided, you can go with the metadata. Okay, so guys, yes, uh, this is the problem statement actually we're gonna solve throughout this entire uh, playlist. So yes, guys, uh, this is the agenda uh, of, uh, of this video. Okay, so in our next video, actually, we'll be uh, like creating the folder structure, we'll be creating the templates, okay, our project template. And uh, again, I'm telling if you want to learn this kinds of end-to-end -end, uh, project implementation, try to stick with this playlist, okay, you will learn a lot. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.